Right, the first thing I'm going to do is take the battery out. And then I'm going to start unscrewing the lid to the memory. the memory cover off now there's 1.5 gig of RAM in there at the moment so what you do with this now is there's two retention levers one on each side make sure you push those two out and the memory lift up put that somewhere out of the way safe Okay, this laptop does actually take 4 gig of RAM maximum, so that's what I'm going to be putting in there. Right. Now the next job is to unscrew the hard drive cover. three screws there for the hard drive and you just slide that out there there you go that's my hard drive 320 gig western digital right now I'm going to unscrew I think there's only one or two screws there for the CD-ROM or the DVD player, sorry. Oh, the joys of a magnetic screwdriver. How oh, they make life easy. Okay, that's those two out. Just put them one side so I know which ones go where. And there's the other one. It's actually only one screw, my mistake. There's only one screw for the CD ROM, the one I'm taking out now. Let's slide that out. There you go. There's the CD drive. Okay, that's that done. Right, now I'm going to be unscrewing the modem. There's just one screw there. I always find it's a good idea for all the parts you take out of a laptop put the screws on top of the part you took out then you know where they go back <laughs> it's a good tip <laughs> that just unplugs from there easily enough just put the screws on top then you know where everything goes okay there's 12, 12 screws holding the back assembly on all the way around the edges The next step is push the screen all the way back as far as it goes. That's it, like that. And there, next to that vent, you have to undo that there. And what that does, it uh, gives you access to the keyboard screws. Okay, just take that off, just clips into place. Put that one side out of the way. And there, and there are the keyboard screws. 
So you can just go ahead and undo those. There is two or three clips on the left hand and the right hand side there that just hold it in place and keep it steady so just lift up and it will come out of its socket there you go that's that side off and there's that side off there you go now there's a ribbon connector there inside now what you do with that is just lift the top up lift that part up there just disconnect. That's the keyboard out. All right, now, what I, now what I've done is disconnected the, the power button module there. That just snaps into place with a connector. A 10 pin connector that goes straight in the board. You just undo one screw and lift that up. And there's two screws there, one either side of the screen. Holds the metal brackets in place. Okay, then we're undone. Now what we need to do is take this out. This is the monitor connection for the screen. That just snaps into place there. Undo that earthing screw as well. Right, there's a couple more of uh, connectors you need to undo as well on the right hand side. There's a black and white wire there. That's for the aerial or the antenna for the wireless card. Right, now you can just undo that if you want to or you can just take the wires off and down there is this plug for the switch that uh, switch toggles if the lid's closed or opened and switches the screen off accordingly so that's going to be need unplugged there do that with the camera off I can't see with this on <laughs> it's that small and uh, the front just clips on the front just clips into place Right, at the back of the screen, or the back of the computer, there's a screw either side right at the end with a screw cap on. They're going to need to, going to, need to take them out because they hold the screen in place, so take them out. Right, now those two screws at the back are undone. The screen will just lift off. There you go, there's the screen gone. Put that over there, one side out of the way. Now the screen's out, the top lid will just come off. There you go. Now the internals, ooh, I'm glad I took that off. That needs a clean bad. That fan is clogged. See the mystery things you find when you take a computer apart. Oh, I wish I didn't have OCD. <laughs> but that fan, that fan is absolutely minging. That does need a good clean. So what I'm going to do in there is get my paintbrush in there, dry paintbrush, loosen all the dirt and then vacuum it. It's pointless using one of them air dusters because they just blow dirt everywhere. So uh, there's the bias battery by the way, if you're thinking of changing that. You can access that with the lid on. Just press the clip and that comes out. Right, now what I'm going to be doing is undoing those four screws there. These four screws hold the heat sink and the heat pipe in place for the processor. So I'm going to be taking that off in a moment. And cleaning all the thermal grease off the chip that's on there and putting my own Arctic Silver on, which I think is probably one of the better heat sink, heat sink compounds you can buy. That and Noctua, I think it's NTCH1 or something like that. Noctua, it's brilliant. That's good stuff as well. I have seen some Muppets actually using <laughs> the compound that you can't undo once it's on. And that's a very bad idea. Don't ever do that, guys. Don't do that. Okay, that's all loose. I've unscrewed that. And ta-da! Look at the dirt in there. Oh my God. And all the thermal paste has gone all over the place. Dear, dear. Good job I took this apart. <laughs> wonder how long it would have lasted with that being clogged up shutting down all the time 
Okay, so I'll put that one side for the moment and get that cleaned in a minute. And there's all the nasty thermal grease that's on the processor at the moment. Okay, I took all the cooling system out and give it a good clean because it was a right mess. In fact, I think if it had left it any longer it would have started overheating. It was that clogged up with dust. So now what I'm going to do is take the processor out. And what you do for this is put a small screwdriver in there. Just give it a turn to the left until it clicks. Like that. That's click now. And that'll come out now, see? Okay. Put that one side. And store the new one. <clears throat> There, the arrow on the top right hand corner there as you can see that goes that way there you go that's gone in and we gently push on the top and tighten that screw back the other way retention screw that's it that's it that's replaced right now my next job is to put some thermal paste on the processor core don't go over the top with this stuff by the way because you only want a paper thin amount if you put too much on it'll do more harm than good so you don't want a little bit like that that's plenty and then get something flat and spread it out evenly on the core like that there you go I put a tiny little amount on the graphics card the graphics chip there that's ample and again spread it over evenly okay that's all you need you don't need much of this stuff okay now I'm going to put the cooler on back on the processor and graphics you're better off doing this sooner rather than later because you don't want contaminants building up on the paste you've just put on there so that's gone on and tighten it up corner to corner so the paste spreads evenly Don't over tighten these screws by the way, it's not a good idea. I know it's tempting but I wouldn't do that. Okay, spot on. Just give everything the press, just make sure everything's, make sure the paste is spread properly. Right now what I've decided to do now I've took the lid off is because there's a bit of discoloration there on the plastic I've decided to spray it which will save me 20 or something quid on a new one which is you know if it only needs a quick spray over then it's, it's pointless buying a new one there's no cracks in it or anything so I'm just going to go over it with some plastic coat then two coats of clear on top then it should look the bee's knees Right, that's the lid resprayed. I think you'll agree that looks a lot better. I've put two coats of silver on and two coats of clear enamel, clear gloss enamel. So it's got a lovely shine to it now. 
and I've fitted that sticker on there.